Hello. Eric Jonathan Shepta coming at you. Here I am outside of 1015 uh, Half Street Southeast where I just went and picked up some petitions in order to get on the ballot to run for DC mayor. I have to get 3,000 3, signatures by August 8th. Today is Wednesday, July 25th. I have exactly two weeks. Uh, some of you might ask why that wait so long. Well, let me just say that I had a fight with the current administration and uh, they kind of brought me to my knees, but I said, I'm not gonna give up. I'm still gonna try. So I'm gonna use these last two weeks that I have to get 3,000 signatures. Uh, it's conceivable that if I find 30 people who are really fed up with DC gentrification and they each commit to getting 100 signatures, then uh, we can do this in a matter of hours. I mean, each person can put in four to six hours of work and we can get 3,000 signatures and I can get on the ballot and, uh, she, and she can have some competition because right now the mayor is essentially unopposed. Uh, she won the primary and the winner of the primary generally goes on to win the general election for mayor, which always happens in the presidential midterm, by the way. Uh, and so this is on the one hand about just making sure that we preserve democracy, that we do have some sort of choice. Uh, and then again, there's this issue of controlling the narrative because the incumbent, you know, she's been around for a few years. She's been a councilwoman from 07 until she became mayor in 2015. Uh, and the ones who ran against her in the primary were relatively unknown people. I, as a homeless advocate since 2006 in DC, was better known than some of these candidates that ran against her in the primary. But that said, um, we need to preserve democracy. We need to bring a strong narrative. Uh, we need to increase people's interest in local politics because uh, here in D.C., only about 30% of registered voters actually go out and vote. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe if we change the mayoral election to a presidential election year, that that might increase people's uh, involvement in the mayoral election. So that's one of the things I'm going to push for, actually. Uh, as a matter of fact, my mayorality or mayorship, whatever you want to call it, would focus largely on just increasing public input. Uh, this current mayor has done everything she can to decrease public input. I would do quite the opposite and I would make every effort to move the mayoral election to a presidential election year, which would mean that either I'd have a six-year term or a two-year term, but I, I'm vying for a two-year term. Uh, I would push for my first term to be a two-year term and that way the next election would be in 2020 for DC mayor and I know that there will be a lot of people coming out in 2020 because they'll be so fed up with Trump and they'll see the mayor's race on the ballot and they'll probably check that off as well uh, and I would use my two-year term to really fix a lot of things. I would put a moratorium on any new construction projects. I would look at gentrification and I would have my advisors to advise me on ways to stop and even reverse gentrification. I have some ideas. I'm not going to spit them all out here in this video, but my term would be about just saying stop. Let's look at what we've got. Let's make sure that we don't push any more people out of D.C. Uh, people who were born here, long-term residents that have been here for at least 10 years, you know, and I'd have a priority list to make sure that various long-term residents are not gentrified out of the city. I would make sure that we add a moral compass to how D.C. government functions. 
uh, and there is more that I can explain that I'm not I'm not going to try to fit everything into this one video but uh, I would actually make make it a point to go around to each ward on an eight-week cycle uh, and to talk with people in each ward and get their input on a regular basis I would actually step up the DC government website so that it's more interactive and that and people can first of all learn how to interact with their government and secondly they can do it on a very regular basis I would have a form for, for whatever issues people want to bring to the government uh, a questionnaire that they could use to shape what they're trying to say to their government I would have people who would help them to, to really shape what they're trying to say and who would advise them on where they can get all sorts of legal advice in terms of how to turn their ideas into legislation and policy and so forth so that by the time somebody reaches my desk I more or less only have to sign off on something uh, you know I won't just be a yes man that's not what I'm saying but I would want people to have their ideas formulated as much as possible so that I can move quickly so that I can spend 15 or 30 minutes on an idea get briefed on what it's about you know and sign off on it and, and move it along to the council or to some department of the government okay and uh, I would also actively teach people how their government functions I would do all sorts of things to first of all increase people's interest in local politics and then to teach them how government functions I would teach them how to do a surgical attack on government that is to go after the specific department that deals with their issue so that they're not all coming to me I don't want to have a big bottleneck uh, everyone just coming to the mayor and uh, I would want the people to feel like DC government belongs to them that it really is a government of by and for the people uh, the way that our federal government was supposed to be uh, and I would want them to feel like democracy really does exist at the local level with Eric Jonathan Sheptock as DC mayor. Now I'm not going to try to spit out everything that I would do right here right now but that's the basic framework. Uh, people need to learn at least this much from this video which is that there is no possible way to sum up everything that I would do for the city in a five or ten minute video. Uh, however, if you do need an elevator spiel that would describe what I would do, then that elevator spiel is as such. Mayor Eric Jonathan Sheptock will ensure that people have a, a, an increased interest in local politics, that they feel like their vote really does matter, that they know how to interact with government, uh, they are adequately assisted at making their point to government, they have uh, a, a regular cycle of interaction with their government with a ward visit uh, every eight weeks and I would also make certain that the poor are not pushed out of DC that we really do connect low-income people to living wage jobs and affordable housing uh, I would steal some ideas from Lyndon B. Johnson's Great Society uh, one of them being that we, we need not measure uh, equal opportunity we need equal outcomes not just equal opportunity but equal outcomes if we don't have equal outcomes then we haven't done enough I'll stop there for now and I'll talk to you again soon alright thank you